Okay, this is part two of the mango taste test series. Got my next box from the Mango Men. Uh, looks like a really good box. There's no, um, no more than one of each type, which is great. So I get to try nine different types of mangoes. We've got Dupuy, Francis Hargrove, Rosy Gold, Sunburst, Coconut Cream, which I'm really excited about here. That's one of the best varieties. Lemon Zest, Fairchild, Cogshaw, and Okrong. Dong. Yeah, the first one um, that we're gonna dive into is the Cog Shawl. This is a South Florida variety, um, probably a seedling of the Hayden Mango, which I tried it and I reviewed that in part one. Um, and so it's gonna be a little bit different, but it, it's got this beautiful red color to it. Um, the flesh looks good too, let me give it a smell. It smells really good. Um, so I'm gonna cut it up and try a piece here. Okay, here's the Cog Shawl. Okay, that's really good. Um, as soon as I put it in my mouth, even though I didn't think this one was like 100% ripe, as soon as I put it in my mouth, it melted completely. So it's very, very soft texture um, in a really pleasant way. Uh, sweet, doesn't have a lot of acidity, but maybe if I, um, if I try some of the outer pieces um, and not the center one, uh, it might be a little bit less ripe and have a little more acidity because I kind of like mangoes that have some sourness and sweetness to it. Um, but this one's great. Um, it almost has like a, I got a little bit of a note of like cotton candy kind of um, aroma or flavor to it as well. Okay, so the next one we're gonna try is the Sunburst Mango. Um, this one ripened pretty, pretty yellow throughout, kind of like a darker yellow than uh, normal mangoes, but um, feels pretty ripe, looks pretty ripe. Smells uh, pretty coconutty. Kind of reminds me of um, growing up the pina colada Slurpees at 7-Eleven. Just that kind of like coconut pineapple um, combination. Yeah, so really high juice content, which is awesome. Okay, here we go. Wow. Really, really good, very sweet. Um, really high coconut flavor like I was saying in the smell tastes just like it smells much sweeter than I thought this is the the second box of mangoes that I bought this is the third box that they put out all year and this one's a lot better so far than the first box that I got so I'm really excited um, really really smooth texture not a lot of like stringiness to it um, when I was cutting it really easy to cut um, so I definitely like the Sunburst Mango. It's, if you like those kind of super sweet, low acid, coconutty flavored mangoes, this is this is a good one to try. Heard really good things about Lemon Zest. I wasn't able to find much information online um, about it, which is strange because um, you know everyone talks about how great it is. Um, so I'm not sure what the variety comes from, like if it's a seedling or one of the other ones, or what the deal is. But I do know it's supposed to have kind of a citrusy, lemony, of course, um, flavor to it. Although it kind of has like an orangey. Can't tell because the orange cutting board, but it has a kind of an orange glow to the flesh here. So um, we'll see uh, what it tastes like. Doesn't have much of a smell, to be honest. Okay, that's really good. Um, Reminds me of those champagne mangoes that I've talked about in my other videos that I really like. So, so. yeah, I definitely like it. Um, it has a higher acidity level. Um, seeing that it's called lemon zest totally makes sense. I was eating the rest of it, and the um, area that was a little bit green, that looks a little bit less ripe, did actually taste a lot like lemons. So um, it lives up to its name. Um, but if you want to really replace lemon in a recipe or that you really want to bring out that lemon flavor, I would say pick them a little bit underripe. Cause you can see this one's fairly ripe because it's kind of that goldish orange color in the center and then the bits that are a bit more yellow and greenish on top have probably had on this half have that lemon flavor too um the rosy gold comes from the ono uh, variety this is a seedling and the dupuy comes from saigon variety and these are both southeast asian heritages on these mangoes um, which i usually prefer so let's see what they look like. Um, both have a pretty nice gold color, it looks like. 
Uh, Dupuis has some disease or some kind of like skin issue, but it doesn't seem to affect any of the, the flesh of the fruit. Um, so I'm going to cut these uh, into some cubes and try them out. Starting with the Dupuis. Really sweet, really good quality. Um, I like this one a lot. It's got this kind of undertone. It tastes like a normal Italfo, but it has this undertone of like a cotton candy flavor that I've tasted in some other mango varieties. Um, but it has some coarseness to it. It's not stringy, but it's not 100% smooth. So let's try the other one. Here goes the rosy gold. So that does have a bit more of the traditional mango flavor, like a little bit more of the coconut undertone, but not that much. Still just tastes like a really good Atalfo style mango. The texture is um, even better than the Dupuis. It has like a smooth buttery texture, which I love on these kind of mangoes. Um, very sweet. Both of these have kind of medium acidity, not like, they're not like tart or they don't have any kind of lemon or citrus undertones to them. So um, I actually love these mangoes. These are probably like some of the best I've tried so far. I'd say A minus on both of them. Uh, probably the rosy gold's a little bit better. I might even give that an A. Okay, next one on the list is the Francis Hargrove. There it is, Francis Hargrove. Um, wasn't able to find almost any information online about this. Um, and so uh, I only saw one message board post about it. It was on a list of someone's recommended mangoes. So <clears throat> I don't know much about it. Francis Hargrove. So definitely more of that kind of, uh, I guess you'd call it like a Western type mango, which is kind of more, a little bit more coconutty, a little bit more watery, doesn't have that buttery texture that I've talked about in some of my other reviews. It kind of has more of a flavor of just a traditional mango you'd buy at a grocery store. Um, that being said, it's pretty nice though. It's like it has no like off flavors that some mango varieties have. Um, it's very clean, uh, sweet low acidity. Uh, I wouldn't say it's very sweet like uh, some of the, the last two ones that I tried, but uh, medium sweetness, low acidity, um, pretty juicy, tastes good. Um, I'd probably give this a solid B. So this is the one that we've all been waiting for. This is one that I've uh, heard about from several friends um, and from Richard Campbell from the Mango Man himself saying um, it's one of their favorites. Uh, the coconut cream, a lot of like heft to it. Um, it's got this yellowish, greenish skin with a little bit of uh, black. Um, I don't know if that's disease or what that is, but uh, it doesn't look like it's affecting the quality of the fruit there. Um, smells very, very pungent. So that strong pina colada uh, undertone that's in a lot of um, other mangoes, it's like it's, it comes to the forefront. Looks pretty juicy too. It's going to cut it up and take a look. So I cut a slice here. Coconut cream is pretty... Um well known in the mango community uh, in South Florida. Um, I'm not exactly sure what the lineage is on it. Um, <clears throat> there's probably a lot of information online um, if you were curious about it. Um, so I'm really excited to try it. That's pretty amazing. It holds up to its reputation. Sweet but definitely has, um, I can't talk, I'm just eating this. Um, really strong coconut and very strong pineapple flavors too. So of course it makes it taste like pina colada. The texture, at least of, uh, maybe I should cut a cube out because that's how I've been doing uh, the other mangoes um, to see kind of like apples to apples here, or mangoes to mangoes. So the flavor of this mango is, is really good. Uh, pretty high sweetness. I would say it's probably rated high sweetness level. Pretty low acidity, um, which is typical of, I think, mangoes that look like this and that are of this kind of lineage. Not, I don't think this is a Southeast Asian type. Um, the flavor is really strong. The texture, though, is a little bit less 
Uh, it doesn't have that buttery, super smooth flavor. It's, or excuse me, texture. It's very juicy. It almost just like melts in your mouth and turns right to liquid as you're chewing it, as opposed to some other ones that have a little bit more texture. This one um, is very juicy. Uh, it's a little bit more, um, it doesn't have that more consistent texture that maybe like the rosy gold or normal, normal Atalfo champagne mango would have. Um, it has, you know, I'm looking at the mango right now. It's got like some soft, almost liquidy areas, like super juicy areas, and then some more uh, rougher areas too. So it's not quite as uh, consistent and fudgy in texture as maybe some of the other mangoes that I've tried. Um, but overall, it's like, I think it's great. And I don't think I picked it too, or I didn't pick this one, but I don't think I cut it uh, overripe. Um, I think it's it had just a little bit of give when I was squeezing it, so I think it was perfect. So I think this just mango in general just has that like softer texture to it. It doesn't have that like firmer, rich consistency to it. Um, so I would give this, I would give the coconut cream an A um, for sure. Uh, but in terms of just overall, because I, I do like the te like good texture in my mangoes too. So um, I don't think it's my absolute favorite so far. Um, but I would say it's right up there with uh, on the list. I don't know if it'd be on number one yet, but uh, it's it's probably in my top three for sure. Okay, up next we've got the Okrong Tong. Uh, I think I this is a Thai variety apparently. Um, I don't know too much about it. I did see uh, with a little bit of internet research that it's also just an okrong kind as well. Um, they're two separate varieties. Uh, and the person online in the message board did say that the regular okrong was a little bit better. Um, but, you know, you never know with these things like, uh, you know, if there was a difference in soil quality or um, what exact variety they had too. So you can't put too much stock into it. Let's cut it open and try it out. It's a little bit hard. Um, but, um, there's still some areas that are soft to the touch, so I figured I'd eat it now. Um, it's got a more brighter yellow color than the other mangoes I've been reviewing. Again, it could be just because it didn't have enough time to ripen. Um, but I'm going to try a piece of the center, probably the most ripe, and see how it tastes. Okrong tongue. Mmm. 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 Okay. So... It's really nice. The texture uh, is exactly the way I like it. It's got some firmness to it. Uh, it's really smooth, juicy, uh, medium sweetness, medium acidity. Um, but it does have uh, a little bit of the, the more mango-y, spicier undertone. But it's actually, for me, it's the perfect amount. Like you, you taste it and you know you're eating a South Asian fruit. It has a little bit of a um, I've said in previous videos like a mango funk, but I guess that's what it is, but it's just a hint of it. So um, it's actually really nice. Um, I like this one a lot. Um, it's, if you like just really saccharine sweet um, coconutty mangoes, this is not it uh, for you. But if you like something that definitely has like a little bit more of an exotic flavor, the exotic mango flavor, but it's also like sweet and juicy and like nice to eat, I would, I would check out the Okran Tom. Fairchild mango. Um, it's kind of got this yellowish, greenish skin and it's, feels pretty ripe though. So um, let's cut it open. Uh, I think the Fairchild mango is from Panama. Originally it was introduced to Florida uh, by David Fairchild. Um, and there's a Fairchild Botan Botanical Gardens in South Florida and they've got, uh, of course, this variety and um, quite a few others. So it's got this awesome gold co color to it. Um, cut really easily. looks like the fruit comes off the seed pretty readily. Doesn't have too much of a smell. Fairchild mango. So it's, it's really good, just kind of tastes like a normal Atalfo mango. Yeah, like medium high sweetness, medium acidity. Doesn't have like that much flavor to be honest. It's just like a nice eating mango. It just doesn't have a lot of flavor other than just that sweetness, that kind of light mango flavor. Um, but it tastes great, pretty juicy too. So I like it.